covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. The Raspberry Pi Foundation has launched a compute module with the specs of a Raspberry Pi 4. The Raspberry Pi Foundation launched a new product Monday, the, com the Compute Module 4. It's hard to believe it's been so long, but the Raspberry Pi 4 was released in June 2019. The Compute Module 4 brings the Pi 4 to the industrial IoT space, featuring the same processor packed in a Compute Module, just begging to be integrated into powerful IoT appliances. If you're unfamiliar with compute modules, you can think of them as single-board computers without all the ports and GPIO pins. They allow the computer components, the brains, of a Raspberry Pi to be integrated into robotics, smart devices, maker tech, clusters, or anything you can come up with that requires a tiny, low-powered Linux computer at its heart. Since the Compute Module 4 shares its spec with the Raspberry Pi 4, developers can do all their prototyping on the Pi 4 SBC, but then order a bunch of Compute Module 4s to integrate into their commercial product. Just like the Raspberry Pi 4, the Compute Module 4 features a 64-bit ARM-based processor with Video Core VI graphics. This is going to represent a huge upgrade for previous Compute Module customers, and with 4K video output, output at up to 60 frames per second, plus the ability to decode H.265 video, the Compute, module 4, the Compute Module 4 could be a game changer for multimedia-driven devices such as smart TVs or set-top boxes. The Compute Module 4 is available with your choice of 1, 2, 4, or 8 gigabytes RAM and 8, 16, or 32 gigabytes onboard eMMC flash storage. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are also optional. The price ranges from just $25 to $90 USD. Now imagine that, Jeff, the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4 yeah. in one of your SBC projects or something like that, powering it like the brains. See, this is a pretty awesome. powerful... As soon as Becca said H.265 decoding, so that's like video that is very CPU intensive. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, like it says me, a lot. That's more power than my Plex server. Yes. Which, like, who knows where that's going to take things. I like the idea of cluster computing. And yeah, that's where okay. you take several computers, connect them together through networking, and basically install... Um, software, Beowulf or something like that, that clusters them to make them be able to perform tasks together in such a way that it basically makes a supercomputer right. out of several computers. So you think about these Raspberry Pi cl uh, cluster or the modules the, mm -hmm. and, and put like 10 of those together in a, a, a cluster. And you'd have like this compute module cluster That'd be nice. computer with that much power. When you can have eight gigs of RAM on each board, times that by <laughs> you 10. You can do a lot. You can do a lot. It's changing things, folks. The world is changing, mm -hmm. that's for sure. What would you do with all that power? And silence. He's waiting for you to answer. I, I'm thinking, I'm like, what would I do with that power? <laughs> How many people just went, Bitcoin mining. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. You, you know what's sad? My first thought was, could I automate like some of the utilities that I have in the kitchen to make food for me? That was my first thought. With a with a compute module four? Yeah. Takes more than that, but I, I know, it but could be the brains of such an operation. Clearly, I'm hungry, though. <laughs> <laughs> Your thoughts, comment below. We'd love to hear what, uh, what you would do with a compute module for. Thanks for watching the Category 5.TV Newsroom. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all your tech news with a slight Linux bias. And if you appreciate what we do, become a patron at patreon.com slash Category 5. From the Category 5.TV Newsroom, I'm Becca Ferguson.